The army has said that if they are not violent, they will let them demonstrate. Ruler, it looks as though it's working for now. It's looking relatively peaceful. Yes, for now it's working and it's much more peaceful than it was less than half, around, half an hour ago. Uh, I'm going to step out of the picture and our cameraman will show you again where we are exactly. Uh, this is downtown Beirut and the building you see with the red rooftop, the rectangle red rooftop with the Lebanese flag, that's the Prime Minister's office. And that was actually rebuilt and uh, redone by the former Prime Minister Rafiq al-Hariri. Now if he pans down, the first thing you'll see a building with glass, that is a UN building that is not functioning anymore because it's deemed unsafe. So you will see the protesters, you will see the blocked roads leading to the Prime Minister's office. Where the protesters are standing is the last front line where they can be. There are barricades there manned by the Lebanese security. They are told they cannot cross these barricades. The violence started when they crossed these barricades and they started hitting towards the gates of the Prime Minister's office. What what contained the situation and calmed the downs are calls from the March 14 coalition for the protesters to stop that immediately. We heard from Saad al-Hariri, the former prime minister and the leader of the March 14 coalition, the leader of future movement. He called on his supporters to leave the streets immediately. He said, we are not seekers of violence, we are seekers of peace. And this is not acceptable. He put his own security men who are at manning his house here in downtown Beirut to help out with defending the Prime Minister's office against any attempts to barge into that place. We also heard from the former Prime Minister, Fuad Senora. He's, oh, he was also in that spot before for a whole year. Prime Minister Senora sat in that uh, office and there were protesters demanding his resignation, but they were from Hezbollah and Michel Aoundlak, the Christian leader. He did not resign. He also called on the protesters. He said, going into the Grand Sarai is unacceptable. They have to pull out immediately.